So my name is Casper Hendricks. I'm a biologist and evolu I'm an evolutionary biologist at the Naturalis Biodiversity Center, which is in Leiden in the Netherlands. Uh, as a PhD student, I didn't work in botany. I worked on a completely different system, evolution of uh, micro snails on Borneo. But I knew from uh, some other people from talks that they worked on this uh, system of the evolution of woodiness uh, in Bersicaceae, in the Bersicaceae family. And it really intrigued me. So after my PhD, I really pursued uh, to also do this research. Yeah, so it's mostly the complexity in this family. There's uh, a parallel evolution of woodiness. And we know that roughly 100 times herbaceous species within this family have evolved towards what we call derived woodiness. And as an evolutionary biologist, this fascinates me. Why did this trait so many times evolved independently in so many places in the world? So that's something I want to understand. How is this possible? When did it happen? Where did it happen? What I really like in the study of clans is, is how complex the system is. And I understand for many people this might seem daunting, but I really like the complexity. So this evolutionary trajectories that all the different lineages took over millions of years of time, I want to understand why that happened, where, and uh, yeah, what the causes are. So one of the things I, I've worked on over the last few years is to build a tree of life for the Bersicaceae family. Um, and the family contains about 4,000 species. So as you often see in this kind of research, the tree of life that we have to build becomes bigger and bigger. Now, I found that it is a challenge and maybe also kind of an obligation for me as a researcher to find ways to, to bring this tree also to the public, to make it more accessible. And therefore, last year, I got into contact with uh, multimedia design students at the University of Amsterdam to help me design a website, an application where we can show this tree of life and make it accessible. It allows people to quickly search the tree of life and to filter for different, uh, different things like taxonomy, geography or trade data. And I think this is really necessary because with big data, I'm working with big data, genomic data, and the results are becoming also more complex. So it's also a task for us as researchers to, to, uh, to create a, a simple message uh, for fellow researchers, but also the general public. If I had to advise myself <laughs> when I was younger, it's definitely to be curious. And uh, if, you, if you are interested, in evolution, you have questions about this, go study biology, go study botany and try to do a PhD and, and become a scientist. <laughs>